Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully update email verified, right? So now email verified is enabled. Now in this video, I want to do and to change the default image. So if you want to change the default image, it's very simple. When you install Laravel Breeze, that is a new also file is available. Um, like in our view and that is our auth all that our view page right and also it should be created another folder as a components and into this components area here you can see there is a drop down link there is a drop down blade input everything is in particular that folder so the, into the component there is one of the component as applications logo.blade.php so by default they are using one of the sbg file Okay, it doesn't mean that you only you have to use that as a SBG. If you want to change it, if you want to use that PNG, JPG is totally fine. So right now they are using that um, SBG. So that is one of the SBG icon. I want to do, I want to change it. So better I remove everything. Okay, I remove everything. And now in our public folder. Okay, so into this public folder, I want to save one of the images. Uh, like there is a public and into this public area i want to create another new folder and i just name that folder as a logo okay i simply take that as a logo what of the logo actually choose right now here i want to do and to paste one of the logo so that is le black okay le black that is one of the logo this logo i want to do and to use it so that is our file name as le black okay is le black dot png i want to do and to load that image in our application that in components applications logo blade.php if you want to do that work is very simple i take one of the image tag i simply load that image tag and into the src area here that is a double curly bracket because that is one of the blade syntax right into the blade syntax first of all that is a asset asset means that will be executed our public folder right into the public folder you will declare that things by the asset and after that asset i have already created on the folder name as a logo so now i want to do i want to take it okay i want to take it that will be as a logo logo folder and after that logo folder we have to go to that le black.png so i make it as le black.png so friend that's all and also if you want to add on the wide you can add it i better use that on the wide why do i make it as a 100 pixel okay i make it as 100 pixel so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go now refresh that page yeah you can see it's now successfully updated now if you're logging with the user okay user at that gmail.com password i make it as a one two three four five six seven eight now log in yeah you can see it's also successfully updated okay so that is also successfully updated everything worked perfectly okay in our next video i want to discuss about one of the most important part important part that is if you actually work want to do this work you can actually do it a lot of students ask me about it like if you want to log in with the username so by default right now we are using that uh, we are locking with the email address and the password right so if you want to log in with the username how to do this work how to add on the new field in our register page i step by step i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video